KP22, the best lift in America, services an enormous amount of terrain. While heading up the eight minute chairlift ride, you can't help but look at the 2,000 feet of vertical terrain surrounding you. To get to shoot 75, you actually have to ski past the patrol shack. I think one of the scariest parts about Shoot 75 is that once you drop in, you're expected to finish your run. Squaw Valley kind of has this tradition where once you start the run, you finish it out all the way through the shoot. And that's a pretty long way to go without stopping, and if you don't stop, people might run you over from behind. And that's always a scary thought to have, especially when you're going down something so steep and so long. Almost like a half pipe with cliffs on either side. Probably at the very top, it's approaching 40 degrees. It maintains that that steepness all the way through the middle and then probably gets down about 30 degrees, finishes out in a large apron. <sighs> the challenge with Shoot 75 is that if you make a missed turn at the top, lose a ski or fall forward or backward, you will probably slide the whole uh, the whole shoot. It's it's from top to bottom, from the top of KT to the bottom. It's about 1,800 vertical feet. The steep part is probably 1,200 vertical feet, which is a long way to slide. From the top, you get off and the first thing you see are these signs that say, expert only. And shoot 75, on the day we skied it was closed, but there was a little sign right between all the closed signs that said, shoot 75 alternate. Shoot 75 alternate is an entrance that if you ski down in that entrance, you've committed to skiing that run. You get to the lip of the alternate entrance and you look down and that's it. You, you're committed. Don't tell me that